Now we've progressed from straightening the crank to the crank grinder. And the first thing typically I do is do the rod journals first. So I've measured the rod journals to find the worst one and basically more or less they're all the same. So I, I picked number three and I have to offset the chucks to get the stroke of the Model A crank which is four and a quarter. So and then I have to indicate the journal to get it as concentric as I possibly can. So I can get it to 10 under or 15 or 20 or 30 or even 7 under. Since we control the amount of babbit that we can add or remove from the connecting rod as well as the mains. So I've got this journal now set up to within a thousandth of out of round which is pretty good considering it's 86 years old. So the next will be you know putting the steady rest on the machine which controls the the whipping of the crank as the chucks in the crank is turning simultaneously with the grinding wheel removing material from the crank journal. This is the caliper that as I'm grinding it, I can see how much material is getting removed as I'm grinding. In other words, it's in process. I can control the amount rather than, depending on the dials, which aren't accurate at all, I can depend on this indicator, which is in five-tenths increments, so I can exactly you know, grind the crank journals each time to the correct dimension rather than you know, depending on a micrometer or anything like that. As the machine is turning, this caliper goes for a ride with the rod journal, and I can see, you know, exactly how much is getting removed. So I can guarantee uh, the same sizes on every one of the rod journals or main journals for that matter.
this journal cleans up as, as well as all the rest of them will be, we'll, we'll probably get this to pen on it.